Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Tawny Patrick. I am the early childhood pastor at The Crossing, um, and I am so excited and thankful that I get to share with you guys um, a little bit this morning about what we've been learning in our series called We Are the Free. So the past few weeks, we've been going through the book of Psalms, um, and this week we're talking about Psalm 103. Um, you know, sometimes I think uh, we can feel like we don't know how to apply what we're learning in the Bible. Um, and so I love this psalm in particular because I think it's a great place for us to start um, in learning how to praise God in our daily life um, outside the walls of the church. Um, it's a great place to start if you're new to the Bible um, or even if you've been reading the Bible a long time. Um, I think this is a, a great psalm that we can get a lot out of. Um, so just a little bit of background. The psalms, they're a, a collection of songs and poems that primarily King David wrote throughout his lifetime. Uh, David loved music. He was actually a very talented musician. He played an instrument called the lyre, uh, which was kind of like a harp. Um, and so I'm so thankful for this music that David passed down to us, because not only does it let us take a look into the heart and soul of David, um, you know, music can be such a uniquely personal um, and intimate thing, but it also shows us how David and the people of Israel uh, interacted with God during this time. Um, and so it's thought that David wrote Psalm 103 towards the uh, later portion of his life, uh, and he's looking back on his life, and he's remembering the goodness and the faithfulness of God, um, and in all the history of God's people. Um, so David, he begins his song with um, this verse. He says, praise the Lord, O my soul. So this is a song of just absolute praise. Um, praising God for what he has done. Um, so there's three main parts to the psalm. The first one, David's looking back on his own life and he's praising God for what he has done for him. Um, this is something that I have found to be uh, incredibly important uh, in my own life when I have struggled uh, or felt far from God um, or even just kind of feeling unsure about the future um, or my situation. I... I really like to look back on what God has already done for me, and that gives me hope for the future. So what I've tried to do in the past is I try to go off by myself. Um, you know, sometimes I'll bring a journal or some paper and I'll write down, um, or you know, you can also just make a, a mental list, you don't have to write it down, but just making a list of all the times that I have seen God move in my life. Um, and so I'll say things like, God, I remember that time when you healed me, um, when you healed my body. I remember when you called me, when you called me to ministry. Um, God, thank you for forgiving me of all of these things that I have done in my life. Um, God, I remember that you never left me in those dark times um, and that you've never failed me. That through all I have seen consistently, God, that you have never failed me. Um, so if you are having a hard time praising God today, um, I just want you to first know that that's okay, um, that, that we all have times that where we, we have a hard time, um, having hope and praising God, um, as that's an okay place to be, but I still want to challenge you to, to try this. Um, I want us all to try to go somewhere quiet. You can bring a journal, you can bring some paper. Um, and just write down very specific ways that you have seen God move in your life, whether that's answered prayers, times that God has led you or healed you or maybe healed a family member, um, times that you have felt his forgiveness. Um, and if you're like, I don't know, I, I'm having a hard time coming up with ways that I've seen God move, like, I know he has, but I just, I just don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to write. Um, what you can do is you can spend some time actually reflecting on the second part of the psalm. Um, so the second part of the psalm, of Psalm 103, is all about how God has moved throughout history in the story of His people, the people of God. So in verse seven, David says, "He made known His ways to Moses, His deeds to the people of Israel." So in the book of Exodus. God rescues his people from slavery in Egypt. And despite them continually messing up and falling short, they, 
continually turned away from God, um, he still, he builds them into this great nation, the nation of Israel. And God loves his people and he never gives up on them. Um, and from the very beginning, God has this plan um, to redeem and restore the world he has made. Um, and he's made that plan known to us, first through the Old Testament and Moses, and then all the way up to Jesus coming and dying on the cross to restore that broken relationship that we have with God and to invite all people to be a part um, of the people of God. And that is something that we can celebrate. And that's something we can praise God for, that he has made this plan known to us, that he's defeated sin and death um, and he's making things new. You know, that work's not finished yet. We can look around the world and see that, that there's still a long way to go. Um, but he has, he has brought us into that plan and, he, and we get to be a part of that. Um, so I would like to ask you guys to spend a few minutes this morning just reflecting on that, reflecting on how God has moved in your life, um, in God's, in the, the, the big picture, God's people, um, even in this difficult time, you know, lives are still being changed. He's drawing people in and God has a plan. Um, so the third part, the final part of the Psalm uh, is David is calling for all of creation to praise the Lord. Uh, starting from verse 20, uh, verse 20 says, Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his people, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Uh, David moves from talking about himself and how God has moved in himself to the people of God to all of creation. Um, and so here is where we get to lift up our voice and join in with the angels. So all of creation right now is united in our praise. Like we can do this right now. You can sit here and you can join in praise with the heavens and with the angels. Um, and it's also really cool because this is an echo of what is to come later. In the, the very last book of the Bible, it's called Revelation. Uh, and in chapter five, there's this really awesome verse that I love. It says, then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth, on the sea, and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. So today, right now, we can praise God for his great work in our life, for his moving in the world, um, and we get to join in with all of the heavenly praise, with all of creation just like David did, and we can say, praise the Lord, all my soul. So I hope this was some encouragement for you guys. Hope you can spend some time uh, reflecting and praising God today, uh, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.